During Munich Security Conference held in Hotel Bayerischer Hof, Munich on 18 to 20 February in one of the interviews Mr. Bill Gates made five most powerful statements related to the COVID-19. In a panel interview responding to questions by Hadley Gamble, anchor, and reporter CNBC he said. The Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2 itself is acting like a vaccine. He stated that in African countries above 80% of the people are seropositive meaning they have either got Omicron infection and develop antibodies against the virus or due to ongoing vaccination. If this statement is considered true that it means that soon world will be naturally vaccinated to the desired targets. Bill Gates co-chair Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation went on to describe that there are more vaccines than demand for vaccines. According to the WHO summary of information on vaccine products in clinical development as of February 2022 there are 146 vaccines in clinical development and 195 in preclinical development. Mr. Gates sound quite right in making this statement, we are already in third year of the pandemic and still not in a position to decide that which one of the vaccine has the best efficacy and should be moved further. The WHO needs to make a bold decision, otherwise, a potential vaccine chaos may arise in future. Sad we have not produced any therapeutics, Mr. Gates deplored. The world stay focused on producing vaccines and has not paid attention to producing antiviral medicine that might have been better received in the public also. There are three major ways through viral infections can be controlled, in preventive measures general precautionary methods like standards operating procedures wearing masks, avoiding gathering and appropriate sanitization and disinfection help in controlling the spread of viral infections. This follow with vaccination also falling in the category of preventive measures. Vaccination protect people from viral infections. Third and most important is antivirals or therapeutic compounds with a capability to reduce viral replication in the body and overcoming symptoms associated with viral infection. No doubt a greater attention has been diverted towards vaccine production and preventive measures. However, the world lagged in the development and manufacturing of antiviral compounds. The COVID-19 pandemic has inflicted disproportionate damages to the countries of world. However, one thing is for sure that greatest damage of COVID-19 to low-income countries is economic damage. Countries with good economies would have to support the poorest ones so the world can move on on its passage to progress and prosperity. Responding to a question Mr. Bill Gates commented that in spite of fast-changing science about the COVID-19 causing virus Dr. Anthony Fossey always gave right message as far as prevention from this virus is concerned. The matter of fact is that this coronavirus showed differential features than previous one and sometimes it was hard to forecast future trends. All the information for this presentation has been extracted from a video posted on the WHO Twitter.